So I never really had that aha moment, but I will tell you that it was something that was inherent for me my entire life. I was the little girl who was really the son my dad never had in the dirt with bugs and salamanders and fish. And like, I was not afraid to get dirty. I loved being outside and I loved the natural world. I grew up around animals and I was always interested in living things. And so that really translated into a love of biology. And my parents did a really good job of helping me understand that what I was liking so much as a kid was really science. I loved cooking and baking. If you've ever baked cookies, you've done a science demonstration because literally cooking and baking a science. And so when I started to think about all of the different careers that I could take, they were always science. Like it wasn't even like, Hmm, what science career can I take? I was like, I want to be a marine biologist. And then I want to be a meteorologist. Then I want to be an engineer or a food scientist. And they were all science related. And I'm grateful. I did go to a lot of science camps as a kid. And I think that my parents saw my inherent interest. And so they did a really good job of fostering that. And for that, I'm really grateful because I think that a lot of, especially young women, that the people around us are the ones that can either make or break our love of science. And so I was in a really great spot to continue that. And so I changed what I wanted to do about a hundred times, but it was always somewhere (laughs) around the middle line of STEM. (laughs) That's great. 